Hi, this is James. And Virginia. And we are here for our first of three games on the new triangular board. We are also having a few drinks at the same time. And I'm going to be playing a lot of this seated. I will go ahead and defer to you, Virginia, to either go or give. And well, we can get I'm the game go. underway. And I'm going to start in my favorite spot of all places. Middle, B2, with a round. I will take my flat and play it at top B3. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and play another round on top B2. Sorry, didn't mean to move the board on you. Top B2, and she is now threatening B2 alignment. I will ignore that threat if you would be so brazen. And I am going to threaten with, I will move my flat to top A3 and threaten alignments on top 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ignore it. Okay. Oh, that is a good Bloody Mary. Sure is. The bacon Man. really makes it. That bacon is perfect. Alrighty. So, let's see here. I think I'll take a point next and go ahead. I'm going to get nice and crowded up here on the top and play it top C2. She ignored my point. threat, played it top C2 with no other immediate alignment threat. If she wants to go ahead and be so brazen, I will take that. Flat alignment, I move my flat to top C3. I have an, I have an alignment at top 3. I turn up my uh, alignment indicator of flats. I have one, she has zero, I announce Vaney. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and score with my multi-piece. Uh -oh. And I'm going to place it at bottom B2. And now I have a round. She has uh, a round alignment, alignment at and I, B2. Yeah. I'll turn up her round alignment indicator. She now has one and I have one. We are now in Vaney. Vaney of Vaney. Vaney. Okay, if you want to do it that way, then we can. I will play my round at middle A1. Okay, well, guess what? What? I'm going to go ahead and do something really dastardly. Uh-oh. I'm going to double threaten with my points at bottom C2. So now I have a vertical threat with points, and I have a horizontal threat with points. Threat at C2 and threat at bottom, bottom two. 2. I can't block them both. They are points, however. So, I'll try to block one, I guess. And I will block it with my points at bottom A2. I'm going to go ahead and score. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm going to pick that piece up off the floor and score. In rhyme, floor score. Very good. Alrighty. She floor has scored, scored at C2 <laughs> vertically. I'm turning up her point indicator. She now has two, and I still have one. She has rounds and points. I have flats. She now has VT. I have Vaney, so VT, Avaney, my turn. No immediate threat. She needs flats. I will, be, being the, the uh, tricky person that I am, move my multi into an alignment, or into a double threat alignment of rounds at A1 and points at bottom A. Nicely done. I'm going to go ahead and block one of the threats. I'm going to choose to block the thread that has the uh, round in it. I'm going to introduce my flats, top A1, or my first flat. She blocked my threat there. I'm going to go ahead and score by moving my point into bottom A3. I now have points right here. I will turn up my indicator to silver, putting me at 2, at her at 2. So now it is VT, ah, VT. Excellent. I'm going to move another thread into position at middle B1, no threat. 
Okay, and the flat has been put into position. No threat at middle B1. B1. I'm going to need... I will put my round into a threat. Middle A2 for a round alignment threat at middle A. And that'll cause you to win, right? If you don't block it, I will. Darn! Well, I'm going to take my round and block it at middle A3. So it has now blocked me at middle A3. I will now make an imminent threat because we are not all in. No. Yeah. I'm going to make a mid middle a uh, imminent threat by playing. Please put this at bottom C1. Playing my round at bottom C1, and I will uh, make a threat at bottom one. We are imminent, now imminent threat at bottom one. I'm about to be all in, and guess what? What? You're in trouble. I'm placing my flat at top uh, B1 for a threat two ways. A threat in the top and a threat in the vertical with my flat. Double threat of your flat, which is the last one you have to score. Your next play will... That's a finale. After I play this, it will be all in and you will be able to move anything. I can't play this into both places. So that is called a finale. You finaled me on it on the last, on the very first possible play that you could have. Yeah. So, according to the finale rules, I don't even get to play this, and we just have to both accept that I lost. So you finaled me on the first game. Good job, baby. Let's show them another angle. She put this into play. On the next play, she can move either anything that she wants to. I, that means that the threat was this way on top one and uh, vertically on C2. Now seeing how I could not have scored, um, then I could not have blocked both either. So it was an unstoppable move and that and the last uh, play being an unstoppable move unstoppable. is called a finale. Pretty good. I'm glad we actually got to show you a finale. Okay. She won this one. We will be back with game two in just a little bit. Very good job, Virginia. Cheers. And we will see you guys the next time.